50 million. That's how many transactions a large bank like JP Morgan processes in one single day. Five zero million. That's just not a big number. It's an astronomical figure. So they must be using the latest AI, something like the latest generation GPT-5. You would think so, but the reality is much more interesting. The, the AI is not generating poetry or solving physics problems. It's solving a very real, a very messy one. Cleaning up credit card statements. You know those cryptic messages you get, cryptic transaction charges that you see in your, in your credit card statement? Something like S-A-R-T-C-O-F-F-E-E or, or you know A-M-Z-N. It is the job of the AI system to classify them into a coffee place and Amazon. That actually sounds pretty complicated. Every merchant has their own naming convention. So how does AI actually handle that? Exactly. It's a massive data cleanup problem. So you would think that they would throw their biggest, most powerful model at it to get the highest accuracy. But in the real world, especially in a financial bank, it's a constant balancing act between three parameters, accuracy, cost, and speed. They rigorously tested a whole range of models from simple encoders to decoders to generative decoders, and even combined encoder decoder models to find the perfect fit. Remember, the most accurate model isn't the best model if it's too slow or costs too much. So I'm guessing the most complex, biggest, largest GPT style model won. That's the fascinating part. An 8 billion parameter model was indeed highly accurate, but they found a 1.7 billion parameter model that was just as accurate but it was faster to run and cheaper for a company that that is focused on efficiency at scale the choice was obvious bigger isn't always better especially when an ai is concerned okay that makes sense a small specialized tool for a specialized job so they picked their efficient ai and deployed this AI on thousands of GPUs to process these 50 million transactions. Wrong again. And this is where the real genius lies. They didn't send all of their transactions to an AI. That would be incredibly inefficient and uh, expensive. Instead, they built a multi-layered smart funnel. First, every transaction hits a simple old school rule-based system. This is a massive list of if-else, if-then statements. For example, if the charge contains AMZN, then they can simply categorize this as Amazon Shopping. This ultra-fast, ultra-cheap layer handles the vast majority of easy, obvious cases. We are talking about covering 60 to 70% of the entire daily volume. So, most of the transactions don't even touch the AI. What about the ones that are left? The ones with spelling mistakes or, or weird names? Then the remaining are flowed to a second layer, which is an enhanced string distance matcher. Think of it as a very sophisticated spell checker. It's great at catching fuzzy names uh, like Bistro Cafe versus SF Bistro underscore cafe one, two, three. It can see the core text is highly similar and make an intelligent match. This layer catches another 17% of the transactions. So only what's left goes to the expensive model. Precisely. Only the toughest, most ambiguous 20% of the transactions are ever sent to the advanced AI model. These are the cases where simple rules and string matching fails. By the time a transaction gets here, it's a problem that requires genuine and 
एक्सपेंसिव सीमेंटिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग दिस लेयर्ड अप्रोच एंश्योर्स दैट दे ओनली यूज दर मोस्ट पावरफुल एंड मोस्ट एक्सपेंसिव मॉडल ओनली ऑन द प्रॉब्लम दैट रिक्वायर इट होल्ड ऑन रूल्स स्ट्रिंग मैचर्स आई थॉट मॉडर्न ए आई वॉज सपोज टू गेट अवे विद दीज वाई आर बी स्टिल यूजिंग दैम इज वॉज इन दैट द होल पॉइंट and that is the most crucial lesson here there's a popular myth that ai means simplifying everything into one giant all knowing model but the reality is building robust scalable systems is about pragmatism it is using the simplest cheapest tool that can get the job done at each step why use a sword when a needle can do the trick so the secret sauce isn't just the ai the secret sauce is the entire system so next time you hear a company using ai to solve a massive problem remember that true innovation often isn't a the ai model itself it's the clever practical cost effective system built around